What is up YouTube, Roger here. Um, I have recently got 99 runecrafting on old school. Uh, not uh, Actually, the video got very negative ratings. Um, not sure why, but uh, I, I don't think a lot of people understood what was actually happening in the video. So I'm going to explain that. Basically, I was stood at the nature altar about to get my 99. I was waiting on a few people. Um, a couple of JMods will come in and some other people. Basically, me being tired and had not slept for 20 hours, I clicked on the nature ult on the on the air altar, thinking that my character would just face the altar. I was right in the sense that it did face the altar, but I was also wrong in the sense that I also crafted the runes and got the level 99 when I wasn't supposed to which was a little bit unfortunate and I kind of I, I think that's sort of why people took such a negative reaction to the video because they just heard all the laughing and me swearing and being a little bit angry but didn't understand what was going on in the video so that's why and that's um, an explanation of what exactly happened um, the second thing I want to mention is fake YouTube names recently there have been a massive um, you know a massive amount of fake YouTube names. People have been making um, copies of, you know, that look really legit, that really do look legit. Um, copying people's avatars and YouTube channels and stuff like that, and it, like, posting phishing links and being like, hey, you know, like, this is my subscriber, you know, this is my link to whatever, my subscriber base, go and follow it, or whatever. And a lot of people can't tell the difference. So, um, I want to put a link in the description of the video to an image and also you'll see it on screen now of the difference between the two um, another main difference is the google verified tag that you see next to uh, verified youtube channels with um, like little uh, tick in a, in a little blue box uh, that I think is gained through getting Google Plus followers and you can apply for it when you get a certain amount of Google Plus followers. I'll also put a link to my Google Plus channel in the description. I would kind of like you to follow that because I would kind of like to get that verified thing ASAP. <laughs> so if, if you could, it's like literally two clicks. You click on that link, then click follow and that that's basically it. Um, that's all I ask for you. So it's it's easier for, to avoid these imposter type people. Um, the sec, the next thing is my team speak. I have been mentioning, if you haven't already liked my Twitter and Facebook, by the way, go and do that. The links are in the description along with my old school thing that I'm going to talk about in a second. Um, I would suggest doing so. I've been posting on my Facebook and Twitter recently because I made a, a team speak server for, uh, you guys basically. So I could talk to you and you know, whatever. It's got like 500 slots on it. So what I want to do is uh let you all or let us you know decent people have access to it but i can't go posting the info on youtube because at that point it's like inviting ddosers and things to to ddos it and just be malicious and i don't want that so i want to invite people on a case-by-case -case basis so if you're interested in joining my team speak server send me a youtube message with your runescape display name or you can send me a Facebook message on my Facebook page, which is also in the description, and with your RuneScape display name. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't. I want to manually accept people myself and give them access, and I can change the server password if needs be and whatnot. So, you know, if you want access, do that. Um, I also want, want to hold a banner competition because I've set up a default TeamSpeak banner for now, but I want to, you know, I, I know there's a few really good graphic designers out there, so if you want to make a TeamSpeak banner, um, I will, you know, I'll set, put the dimensions in the uh, description of this video so you can check that out. And if you want to do that, then I'll think of some kind of reward for you. Um, and the last thing, the last couple things, uh, my old school progress road to max series link is also in the description there's also some old school videos already in that playlist from a while ago um, i'm going to be adding to that playlist with my road to max series which i'll be starting in a couple of days i've already got a bunch of clips ready for that and lastly i want to talk about chaotix um, you can actually i want to give credit to carden for this actually carden um, i'll put his name on screen um, told me that you can actually go to demonheim and just, well, you don't even have to go to Demonheim, but if you destroy your Chaotix, personally, I don't use Chaotix anymore, I use Drygles. But 
if you have a bunch of chaotics in your bank and you want to get rid of them, but like if you destroy them, you get half the tokens refunded. You get five hundred, you get um a hundred k tokens per chaotic back, which, in my opinion, is really good. Um, and I got like half a million tokens from just handing, uh, from destroying my um chaotics. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.